Hi, I am Ramachandra Guha, a trustee of the New India Foundation, and I'm here to share with you the long list for the NIF Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay Book Prize, which is awarded every year for the best non-fiction book published on modern Indian history in the preceding year. First, a little bit about the New India Foundation. Uh, it's based in Bengaluru, like many great things are based, especially intellectual creative activities of this kind. Uh, its main aim is to sponsor high quality research on uh, the history, politics, sociology, economics, etc., of independent India. Uh, we grant fellows, fellowships to uh, Indian citizens uh, who have written uh, for us in the years that since we've been founded a series of outstanding books on different aspects of Indian history. The details of these books are available at www.newindiafoundation.org. So that's our first activity, in some ways still our flagship activity. We also have an annual lecture, uh, which has been delivered by such people as Raghuram Rajan, Ela Bhatt, Jean Drez, uh, Esther Dufro, and other such scholars and activists. And we have had for the last three years, this prize, the Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay Prize, named after a truly great Indian, who uh, Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay, freedom fighter, social reformer, uh, uh, activist in the craft sector, writer, uh, and so on and so forth. I tell you, I'm a multifaceted Renaissance Indian, uh, after whom this prize has been named. And uh, this year, I'm here to announce this long list of 12. Our jury consists of <coughs> Nanda Nilikani, uh, Madi Savarwal, Nirja Gopal Jayal, Nanjot Lahiri, Srinath Raghavan, and myself. So a mix of uh, scholars and, shall we say, entrepreneurs. Uh, and we are very grateful to all the publishers who participated in the exercise. And it was, as always in such uh, endeavors, always in such juries, both a pleasure and a burden because you get to read all kinds of fascinating books. We had a very strong feel this year, but it's a burden because ultimately you have to winnow, winnow down 100 books, 100 odd books to 12 and then to six, and then of course to a winner, one final winner, which doesn't mean that the other books on that list are not also top class. So the first step is to announce the long list today, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to read out the 12 books in alphabetical order of author. And here they are. Amit Ahuja, mobilizing the marginalized ethnic parties without ethnic movements. Stephen Alter, <coughs> Wild Himalaya, a natural history of the greatest mountain range on earth. Niladri Bhattacharya, the Great Agrarian Conquest, The Colonial Reshaping of a Rural World. Catherine Eban, Bottle of Lies, Ranbaxi at the Dark Side of Indian Pharma. Radhika Govindarajan, Animal Intimacies, Beastly Love in the Himalaya. Nandita Haksar and Sebastian Hongre, Kuknalin, Testimonies of Leaders, Pastors, Healers and Soldiers. Jairam Ramesh, A Checkered Brilliance, the Many Lives of E.K. Krishna Menon, Arup Jyoti Saikhya, The Unquiet River, A Biography of the Brahmaputra, Vikram Sampat, Savarkar, Echoes from a Forgotten Past, 1883 to 1924, Amandeep Sandhu, <coughs> Punjab, Journey Through Fault Lines, Rajdeep Sardesai, 2019, How Modi Won India, and finally, <coughs> Arun Mohan Sukumar, Midnight's Machines, A Political History of Technology in India. So 12 books. I think there are about seven or eight publishers represented in it. So we have, um, you know, it's like the spectrum is wide in terms of uh, themes. We have two outstanding political biographies. We have some first state environmental histories. We have uh, several works of reportage, uh, focused reportage. Uh, we also have, you know, uh, uh, regional studies, uh, excellent books on Nagaland and on, on the Punjab, and uh, some really deep scholarly works, some more accessible popular writing, yet other writings that are a bridge between, you know, what are called crossover books, not purely scholarly, not purely popular. And, it, you know, I mean, I'm speaking on behalf of the jury, I'm very pleased with this list, because if you go to the website of the India Foundation, we say, we are ecumenical when we, uh, when we ask for uh, invitations for fellowship applications. We say we are ecumenical with regard to ideology, genre, background of writer, etc. Subject, 
All we want is works of quality. And I think this, I, in my view at least, this long list has showcased 12 first-class works that illuminate the history of a remarkable, complex, exasperating country in many different ways, uh, in many illuminating ways, I should say. And uh, uh, these 12 books will then be assessed by our jury, our six-member jury, uh, who will winnow it down to, uh, from 12 to 6. And we'll be back with you uh, in maybe a month's time to share with you the shortlist for the Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay New India Foundation Book Prize for the best book on nonfiction published in the preceding year.